This substance is known to absorb gas, but did you know it has the ability to absorb poisons and prevent them from being absorbed into the bloodstream? There's also a discovery showing a significant increase in lifespan in mice that may have worthwhile anti-aging properties for some, allowing us to potentially live beyond 100 years. Today, we're going to talk about activated charcoal. Before going out and purchasing charcoal, make sure you watch this entire video and not just skip through. Your health may depend on it. Carbon is the most common element of our existence. It's the most studied and is the core of organic chemistry. Yet activated charcoal is misunderstood for its potential medicinal uses, but also side effects. Activated charcoal, also known as activated carbon, has a unique ability to absorb toxic substances and gases. Not absorb, adsorb. Adsorption means substances bind to the surface of carbon, but it doesn't absorb them like chia seeds absorbs water. Activated carbon is edible and can be used as a supplement. Most activated carbon is made with wood, usually coconut shells, and is even sometimes made with bone to make bone char. Unfortunately, most people only know that carbon supplements have the ability to absorb intestinal gas and odors. It definitely can be extremely useful in the case of having gas pains, but there are more interesting and also potentially dangerous abilities this substance may have, and it needs to be shared with the world. When charcoal is consumed, it does not get absorbed into the bloodstream. The body is unable to absorb it, so it only passes through the GI tract. This is extremely useful as a supportive measure against environmental toxins and bacteria waste from reaching the bloodstream. Heavy metals and other toxic environmental pollutants can be found in our foods and even in our teeth, such as amalgam fillings. One teaspoon of charcoal is a significant dose as it has the ability to absorb 10,000 square feet of substances. With that statement alone, I'm sure you can understand why charcoal is used in the natural health industry and even in hospitals. A study showed that charcoal may be able to reduce waste products containing nitrogen, plus a low protein diet combined with activated charcoal benefited the elderly with advanced kidney disease. Researchers at the Liver Failure Unit at University College London and the Royal Free Hospital are working on developing a charcoal medication because charcoal absorbs toxins and neutralizes them, allowing the body to excrete them. They found that carbon can be useful for livers damaged by alcohol abuse and obesity. Here's a cool tip, if your teeth are in need of a whitening, before reaching for a chemical-laden teeth whitening product, try brushing your teeth with activated charcoal. Since it has the ability to absorb various substances and is commonly used to decolorize sugars, it may help pull stains off of your teeth. Simply break open a capsule and put it on your toothbrush with a little bit of water and start brushing. Water is there to make sure the powder doesn't become airborne and you accidentally inhale it. Don't use it every day, only on occasion when your teeth need a little extra cleaning. We don't go to the dentist every day for a cleaning, do we? Charcoal may stain fake teeth, so be careful. Do you use toxic chemicals to clean your countertops? If you do, once you're done cleaning with the chemicals, break open a charcoal capsule, mix it in water, dampen a cloth, and use it to remove the chemicals. This only works on a glossy surface. Other surfaces can be stained. Definitely don't use it on your walls unless you plan on painting over it. It may be able to collect cigarette toxins from the walls, which is pretty cool. Now for the good stuff. This information is truly incredible, but almost too good to be true. There is an even more interesting form of carbon that has been discovered. This soccer ball shaped molecule made up of 60 carbon atoms may be one of the next leading anti-aging substances of our time to hold us over until we can find something better. C60, also known as carbon 60, buckyball or buckminster fullerene. Buckminster fullerene was named after Richard Buckminster Fuller for popularizing the geodesic dome. Harold Croto, Robert Curl, Richard Smalley, with graduate students James Heath, Juan Lee, and Sean O'Brien, discovered the soccer ball shaped C60 molecule in the summer of 1985 at Rice University. 11 years later, 
Kurdo, Curl, and Smalley were given a Nobel Prize for their discovery. They vaporized graphite using a laser beam, the released carbon atoms are mixed with a stream of helium gas, and then the gas is led into a vacuum chamber. It expands in the chamber and is cooled to temperatures above absolute zero. By using this laser method, they were able to develop C60. It has a more unique structure, but it is very, very similar to activated charcoal in the sense that they are both a form of adsorbent carbon. An interview was done with Dr. Musa, who is one of the main researchers. The study originally was done on rats to test the toxicity of C60, but it ended with something far greater. All of the rats lived nearly twice as long as normal. It seems the researchers were eager to publish their findings, but the last living rat was still alive nearly six years later. They decided to sacrifice the rat so they could publish their findings for the world to see. The study on C60 showed that olive oil increased the lifespan of rats by 18%, whereas a combination of olive oil and C60 increased their lifespan by an astonishing 90%. They stated, but what is noteworthy is that at M38, all C60 treated rats were still alive. Thus, based on previous investigations, C60 should be the most efficient ever material for extending lifespan. The effects of C60 derivatives on aging were attributed to the antioxidant properties and the attenuation of age-associated increases in oxidative stress. The results of the study are indicating that C60 has powerful antioxidant properties by being able to scavenge large numbers of free radicals. Oxidation is one of the effects of aging. It was found that even in doses 500 times lower than they previously used, C60 olive oil was able to protect the rat's livers. They also believe if they would have treated the rats longer, their lives would have been extended even longer. I want to make it clear that the results are by no means a cure for aging. If anything, they may slow down aging if you haven't already been severely affected by it yet. The cure for aging would involve rejuvenation effects that would reverse it not just slow it down. If you want to learn more about the leading research in actually reversing aging, then I would suggest checking out the book Ending Aging, The Rejuvenation Breakthroughs That Could Reverse Human Aging in Our Lifetime by Aubrey D. Gray and Michael Ray. C60 is hard to get a hold of and is definitely not scientifically considered to be safe to consume yet by other researchers, nor proven by other researchers to actually work. So, I wanted to see if there are any anti-aging effects from the typical activated charcoal found in supplements. I found studies showing the anti-aging effects of enterosorption with carbon. Enterosorption means the adsorption of substances in the GI tract. A study done on rats showed enterosorption resulted in the increase of mean and maximal lifespan by 43 and 34 percent respectively. If you were guaranteed to naturally live to 100 and added an additional 43%, you would live to 143. The study concluded that it produced a positive influence on the functional state of the studied systems and increased the organism's adaptive capacities. Enterosorption was found to delay the rate of onset age-related structural changes in the organs and tissues. I'm going to read off another enterosorption study because the results are so profound. Significant increase of mean to maximal lifespan of old rats was noted at certain regimens of enterosorption. The experimental animals demonstrated less marked age-related structural and ultrastructural changes in the liver, kidneys, myocardium, intestines, pancreas, as compared with control animals. Enterosorption leads to a reduction of Pentobarbital induced sleep, decrease of content of cytochrome P450, blood cholesterol and triglycerides, cardiac and cerebral tissue cholesterol, total lipids, liver cholesterol, and triglycerides. Enterosorption was found to increase the RNA and protein biosynthesis in the liver, kidneys, and adrenals of old animals. Another study even found that charcoal administered one hour after chemotherapy possesses the ability to minimize the effects of chemotherapy. Wow. <laughs> Come on, I can't be the only one that is somewhat excited about these findings. 
It seems researchers may have stumbled upon one of the greatest discoveries of our lifetime, yet for some reason, only a handful of people are actually talking about it. We need more studies to find even more pros and cons of supplementing charcoal over time. It's ridiculous that no one is researching it further, considering we could possibly live beyond 100 years. This would give us more time to find a cure for aging. If you're interested in these potential detoxing and anti-aging properties, you can try it for yourself, pretty much as an experiment. You can be your own lab rat if you insist. There's a link in the description below. Be warned though, no one knows the long-term side effects. That's actually why I won't sell it. Do I take charcoal? No, not often. There just isn't enough data for me to personally take it. It's truly up to you to decide if it will work for you or not. I personally believe it absorbs too much, potentially absorbing vitamins, minerals, and even digestive enzymes. Is charcoal goji approved? Nope. There will be more promising anti-aging drugs coming from Sen's Research Foundation and others, hopefully in our lifetime. If you have never taken it before, be sure to ask your doctor first and start slow. If you feel the dose is too high, break open a capsule and take less. This is what I suggest for testing supplements. Open the capsule, mix it in a glass of water, and take a sip. Don't forget, never go to the extreme with anything, and that includes charcoal. C60 was found to be useful in low doses. Activated charcoal may have similar effects used in low doses. So definitely pop open the capsules, and maybe even add it to some olive oil. I'm certain at some point C60 will be more readily available, but until then, activated charcoal is fine. Unlike most people, I'm actually willing to talk to you guys about the negatives of supplements, and in this case, the possible downsides of using charcoal. This information is crucial. You need to understand this before deciding if you want to use the supplement. Don't just take it because you heard good things about it. It's just not a good idea. If you rely on pharmaceutical medications, be aware that charcoal can absorb pharmaceutical medications, making them less effective and potentially useless. 242 drugs, or 1,801 generic names, have been known to interact with activated charcoal. This can actually be useful under the care of a doctor in the case of specific drug overdoses. If you have leaky gut or any obstructions in the GI tract, you should not take charcoal and should instead focus on improving your wellness in other ways such as diet, nutrition, and herbalism. The controversy of whether or not vitamins from foods are being absorbed by charcoal is still ongoing and can be very conflicting. A study was tested on sheep and another mixed with apple juice to see if there were truly any possible nutrient deficiencies associated with daily consumption of activated charcoal. From the 1980 book, Activated Charcoal by David O. Cooney, Charcoal added to the diet of sheep for six months did not cause a loss of nutrients as compared with sheep not receiving charcoal. A level of 5% of the total diet was given as charcoal. It did not affect the blood or urinary levels of calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, inorganic phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc, creatinine, uric acid, urea nitrogen, alkaline phosphate, total protein, or urine pH. The downsides to this study is the fact that sheep eat a lot of food and have stronger digestion than us. They graze for nearly seven hours a day. Imagine the amounts of nutrients they consume. Also, they are obviously not human, and they don't eat the same foods as us. Here's what the study with activated charcoal mixed in apple juice found. Considerable reduction in ascorbic acid, niacin, pyridoxine, thiamine, and biotin concentrations was found, while there was a dramatic improvement in the color and clearness of apple juice. So, uh, which is it then? Does it absorb nutrients or not? The apple juice study states yes, and apples are definitely more practical for humans to eat rather than seven hours of grazing. History also shows charcoal has been used to decolorize other foods, such as sugar, beet, liquor. Surprisingly, I found a video on YouTube of someone experimenting to see if charcoal absorbs iodine, and it does. This could be pretty devastating for someone with already low iodine levels. It literally looks like it will suck the iodine right out of your GI tract. <laughs> Clearly, it has the ability to absorb some nutrients. I can't imagine there being a special substance 
that only absorbs bad stuff and keeps the good, which natural health people are trying to claim. There hasn't been enough research to prove its safety as a daily supplement. This does not mean it's entirely a bad supplement to occasionally take, since it is still being used worldwide. Our environment is toxic, being exposed to thousands of chemicals on a daily basis. All it means is that we need to be smart about how often we take it and when we take it. Taken only as an occasional detox in the morning on an empty stomach or an hour before meals may be safe and effective assuming you're relatively healthy and are not experiencing nutrient deficiencies and any serious digestive ailments. With this being said, charcoal side effects may outdo the benefits if taken long term and in large doses. It might be fine if you have strong digestion, take multivitamins, and eat enough food to make up for the potential nutrient loss. If you feel this supplement is for you, check out the link below. I truly hate to talk down on this supplement, especially with the anti-aging benefits that were discovered, it's hard to not take it once in a while. But of course, with every positive, there is always a negative. Where there is light, there is darkness following. Remember, everything in moderation. If you found charcoal while looking for a supplement to detox heavy metals, but you decided it's not for you, there are other alternatives to a heavy metal detox. Be sure to watch my video on how to detox heavy metals naturally. Well, that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about activated charcoal, be sure to watch my video, The History of Activated Charcoal. If you want to take it as a supplement, check the links in the description below. Hit like on this video like your life depends on it, and share it with your friends or anyone that thinks charcoal is 100% safe. And subscribe to my channel if you're new, I upload numerous health videos that you won't want to miss. As always, I'm Brandon Goji, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay motivated, you urban survivors. Audio link.